everyone. Good morning to you. It's hard. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you come to join me to do another set of devotions. I'm going to do try to do three devotions because I missed the devotion from yesterday and Saturday. So the first devotion I'm going to do is for November. November. Second, and it is eternal life. You can screenshot that and we can get started. Eternal life. For this very reason, Christ died and returned to life, so that he might be the Lord of both the dead and the living. Romans chapter 14, verse 9. I'm going to read that in our Bible app, but I'm going to read it after I do my devotions. Many people brood over the unknown. In their uncertainty, they fall prey to anxiety and tension. For the Christian believer, there is a glorious truth that emanates from life, death, and, res and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We know that he is with us right now, leading us through life. He also went to prepare a place for us in God's heavenly kingdom. In this way, he assures us that when our earthly life is over, we will be with the Lord forever instead of being consumed with fear and worry. Hold on to the promises of Jesus and rejoice in the fact that Jesus lives and you too will live forever. Here's a fair faith with me. Risen Savior, through faith, I know that you live and that I too will live eternally with you. Amen. Our next one, God works in everyday things. And it is for November 3rd. God works in Every day th in everyday things. In his heart, a man plans his course, but the Lord determines his steps. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9. If I have time, I'll read that in our Bible app. God often works in miraculous ways. We see his glory in the changing heavens. We see his handiwork in the grandeur of creation, yet God is also the creator of the small and everyday things, the perfection of the rose and the fragility of the forget-me-not. All these reflect a creative God who is also the master in order, detail, of order and detail. We so easily forget that God is interested in our well-being. Just consider how many times he has guided you through difficult circumstances. Here's a fair pay it with me. Thank you, almighty God, that you never cease to work in my life and answer my prayers. You speak with a thousand tongues. Let me always hear your voice. Amen. The next devotion is for today, November 4th, and it is you are a child of royal blood. You are a child of royal blood. You are all sons of God through faith in Jesus Christ. For all of you who were baptized into Christ, into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. Galatians chapter 3, verses 26 and 27. If we have time, we'll read that in our Bible app. You never need to fall spiritually inferior. No, let me start again. You, you never need to feel spiritually inferior, especially in comparison to other believers. Remember that when God accepted you as his child, he did not. Do so on the basis of your knowledge, work, and worthiness. In his grace, he has centered you, based entirely on your faith in Jesus Christ and your acceptance of him. 
as your Redeemer and Savior. Jesus accepts you for who you are and what you are. All he asks is that you believe in him and accept him as your Lord of your life. Joyfully respond to this invitation and experience the grace and love of your divine Father every day. Here's a fair fate with me. Holy God, God, my Heavenly Father, thank you that I can, through faith, claim the privilege of being called your child. Amen. Let's do some Bible verses. Let's do Romans chapter 14, verse 9. Here is Romans chapter 14, verse 9. For this very reason Christ died and returned to life, so that he might be the Lord of both the dead and the living. Romans chapter 14, verse 9. Let's do Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9. Here you go. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9. In their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. And last but not least, I'm going to read Galatians chapter 3, verses 26 and 27. Here we go. Here's Galatians chapter 3, verses 26 and 27. So in Christ, you are all children of God through faith. For all of you were who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. So thank you for taking the time to do these three devotions with me. Through the book, Grace for Today, One Minute Devotions. God bless you all. God loves you, Jesus loves you, and I love you. I'm going to go upload these videos. Take care. Bye-bye.